So here's another third floor unit um, that's being turned at the moment. They need to put a couple more things up. I don't know if they do or not because they got a whole ceiling fan in here. That's the kitchen light, already has the new kitchen light. As you can see, um, has the right ceiling fan, sink. It's already got a good sink on it. Let me see if it works correctly. You see that though? This is why the sink should be replaced because the button is not working. So to get grimy over time. I might just take the head out of that ceiling. I mean, uh, sink ceiling. <laughs> I might just take the head out of that one and put it on here so it could be new. There's nothing technically wrong with the sink, but this one's supposed to get a newer sink. See, this one has the bigger head on it. I don't even know if it'll fit on there. So I might be replacing the whole sink as a whole just to eliminate that as a problem. And the crazy part is it's hard to find the smaller ones like this, but I can find the replacement bigger units like this. I have some bigger units like that that I can re uh, use for a replacement, but the smaller one I don't have. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that sink uh, because we already have one in the box. This unit right here has one of the best views. Look at the sunlight for one. Windows are kind of dirty. Look, these windows are dirty and we just had the building pressure washed. Those guys suck. If you can see through that. Yeah, let me open up the window. Oh yeah. And they're adding rocks to all the, um, the walkways. They didn't do too good on these gutters either. But yeah, this, this, this apartment has one of the best views. Look at that view. We got the stinky lake right here. Got the pool right there as the clubhouse. Look at that. One of the best views in the building. Ooh, I don't like that. Never felt that before. So let me see here. This one actually has a brand new washer and dryer, which is good. I think they need to put up this light. And this is what, what they had in the window. So that's coming home with me because I can use that in my shed. Got me an AC system. Sink looks decent. Uh, I got a caulk around. Look how cruddy that looks. I brought a, a new one. See how nice and clear that looks? Look how, look how cruddy that looks. That's why I got to replace those, man. They're just terrible. I got to get the, uh, the temperature control knob too, but I had that on the cart. But yeah, I'm going to have them. They got to come back and replace this. Uh, put the bigger light on. This is a much bigger light than what you see up in there. Much bigger light. Not that that one's bad or anything. And this carpet has to go too. So I got to call the vendor to get the carpet replaced. And call the contractor to come back and do uh, that light. And there's another one right there. This is the second light. Yeah, because this one has two bathrooms. So they got the smaller light in there too. I want those replaced. And yeah, once the carpet gets done, then have the ladies come through and do the cleaning. I'm gonna try the oven gel on this stuff. We got this oven gel that's amazing. Still got food in the freezer. Nothing in the refrigerator though. Make sure nothing in the cabinets. I don't think there's nothing in the cabinets because the guy, these cabinets are originally brown. Huh. There's no 
pigs. I gotta find these pigs. I got a guy that's crying that he can't, his cabinet doesn't have a pig. I'm gonna have to find something for that. Those are just regular holes, so I think I can get um, wood dowels and just use them as pegs for the damn counters. But uh, yeah, I might just change that today. I actually should just go ahead and do it right now. First things first, turn the water off. Looks like somebody has some roaches. Hopefully these things don't leak. Sometimes these things like to leak. So let's see how this one comes off. Okay, pretty easy, pretty simple. adjustable. I tell you, this type of work was not meant for the, for the big guy. because I ordered some gloves and I just called the company. I ordered them last Friday, it's almost Friday again. Today's Thursday and they have yet to deliver. My gloves, come to find out they're on back order. They weren't on back order when I ordered them, but now we're sitting there on back order. So it's like, geez, man, I'm a bit of a prissy chick. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't like to touch gunk and grime with my hands. A, because my hands stay in my face too much. So I keep gloves on my hands damn near at all times when dealing with gunk. Uh, that's why I respect plumbers so much because a lot of those guys, they just get into, get into a mind state of, I don't care. I respect you guys, I do. If you're a plumber and you haven't heard a, a thank you this year, thank you. I respect you guys immensely. I'm not, uh, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I know I can't. I, I do plumbing, don't get me wrong. You got to do toilets and stuff, but some of you guys go above and beyond, and it's quite amazing. And then you eat a sandwich after that. So just send it back down. Voila, she's out. I don't have nothing to clean that. It's kind of dirty, kind of gunky. Let's see if it'll cover and I'll just have to clean what's left over. I just have to clean what's left over. It's basically the same design. Mm, sorry, didn't mean to do that.
really cute looking, you know. This right here is the weight that allows you to um, try and rip this thing open. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, it's got screws. See, that's why I always bring my drill because this stupid one has screws. One on each side making it unbearable just for no reason. So you basically clamp that around the hose underneath there. And that's what gives this the ability to go back in. It's just weighted, that's all. Ah oh, man, now I got all this water on the ground. All right, I'm gonna try to do this. Stand it up, I don't wanna get my jacket wet. I do like this particular design because it gives you three anchor points versus just the one. So the old sink just had one anchor point where well, this one has three. Uh, and then you take these, go up underneath and tighten around these two points. But I use the drill to screw those in. for a second. should be it so as you can see my hoses are too short so I have to use the uh, original hoses that I had that came with it because that'll give me my life oh no this one actually only came with one. Oh, but they, do they have adapters on them yeah, this one's got an adapter on it, and this one does not. 
Okay. I'll have to find the adapter. See, usually these are on the wall, but this is the third floor, so they just came to the floor with it. Oh, man, that sucks. But as you can see, yeah, I'm going to have to tighten that a little bit more. Let's put the weight on that thing. I know, Let's make it more difficult for everybody to put it together. There. Alright, before I turn the water back on, I have to get another piece for here. Oh, where's it at? For the other line, because that won't reach. So let's go to the shop. It's got some bad funky water in it. So usually when that happens, this thing needs to be replaced. I don't even try and fix it because I really don't have the time. We have so many things to do that I can't really fix them. So I'm going to just take this water out and order a new one. to the shop. Actually what I'm going to do is roll it right over here to the to the hose. So we'll go ahead and wash this thing out again. I literally just washed this thing out about an hour ago from the last water that I had as a job. I forgot to film but Oh, this funky water. I can't with this funky water. some of this up in there 
this is my personal vacuum, so I can't have it smelling like, oh, all that nastiness in my truck. No, that can't be. <laughs> That's a no-go. It's a lot better, I'll tell you that much. I've been in this unit for almost three months and this unit still has yet to be rented. Oh, there we go, get some light in here. This is the unit that had the big hole in the floor that I did a short on. So this light has to go up in this bathroom right here. And then the mirror has to go up, but these clips have to be moved and I don't have any drywall anchors. Like I have a lot of tools, but I don't have a lot of supplies. So I'm gonna have to get the contractor, I'm gonna text him and see if he can come through and do this tomorrow. This toilet, for some reason, the float valve is extremely short. It should be like another inch and a half higher. So I was uh, vacuuming the water out. So I can go ahead and, and look, somebody actually put a bidet on this particular toilet we had to cut the water off because this valve keeps spinning. Come on. Just a little bit of water. Nothing major. This unit has been down for uh, almost three months. When I first started at this company, this unit was down. And it still hasn't been rented because it still needs some stuff. Oh, and then check this out. Somebody did this to the water heater. I don't know what they were doing, but look at it. It's horrible. That should still work though, but it's gonna have to work for now. So I'm gonna put everything back together. And uh, I cleaned this coil too. This coil was filthy. Let's go get some more tools. All these leaves, all these leaves. Oh, see, look at that. Jeez, man. She's going for a second. I had to hurry up and do that because that thing was just pouring water. I guess it was draining the whole apartment with water. So let me turn the water back on. I'm sure that thing is gonna work. Okay. It like it's supposed to. so low the flush wasn't really flushing so this one's gonna have to be cleaned again which has already been cleaned once but I think these people move in Saturday I don't know what my supervisor is gonna say about this but in between them doing whatever they did they chipped the uh, sink Make sure it cuts off. Okay. Cuts off. And I think I'm gonna replace this spout too because it keeps dripping. Water's off, but it keeps dripping. So many problems with this place. 
All right, I am on my last inspection of the day. Well, actually, I'm not. I got a couple more after this. I'm going to be here till 6. Uh, but it is what it is. You know how management, they want everything done at one time. I'm a part of management. Higher up management, I should say. They want everything done at one time, no excuses, uh, and no overtime. So <laughs> I got to stay and do a couple more inspections. But this one, this uh, doesn't have a button on it. Um, where's the other one? Like this one. So hopefully that fits up in there. If not, I mean, it's the same finish. But then this one is also not spraying correctly either. So I just wanted to change it out real quick. And then it's gunky too. Oh man, it's too big. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That's one of the reasons why it's not spraying correctly. Look how hard that sprays. So, I got the wrong one. Hopefully I can find the right one. this come off? No, it doesn't. I think it's so gunky. You see that? You see the way it's spraying? Oh, it's a twist style. Oh, okay. So I'll leave it. Ah, see, that's what I was looking for right there. Didn't have any instructions on it, and I thought it was supposed to have a button. But this particular one, which is the only one I've seen like this, you twist it. But now it's working correctly. Uh, still gunky up in there, but it's working better than what it was. That's actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. So that's... Huh. Okay. Well, how about this? No? I'll leave it in that position. And if somebody asks, I'll tell them, hey, you're supposed to twist it. This is a uh, in unit, so the layout's just a little bit different. Okay, so that went down. I flushed this toilet, it came all the way up, uh, and I was gonna let it sit, but I'll, uh, I'll get this one in the morning. I'm gonna put the caulk around the the uh, tubs around parts and the same thing goes for this unit back here I wanted to take this off see how cr cruddy that looks and uh, put the parts around here too oh on the other one that's what I forgot to get I got to come back here in the morning I guess I can do that as well Oh no, this handle's good. It was the other unit I was looking at. Th these handles are okay, so all I gotta do is caulk the surrounds. You got new carpet, so. See, these contractors are supposed to be putting in the uh, different lights. They're not even doing that, man. These dudes are lazy. They're supposed to be putting in the new lights up there. Not doing that. But, uh, yeah, I guess this is the end of my day. As you can see, it's kind of getting dark outside. So, my day is pretty much done. I'm going to do these last couple of inspections, and I'm going to hit the road. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.